And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's Al Nasser against Paris Saint-Germain. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. The lineup then for the hosts. Well, although we have it down as a 4 5 1, it's actually more likely to be a 4 2 3 1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10, and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And the PSG team looks like this. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. Fabian plays alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And leading the line, Lionel Messi plays alongside Kylian Mbappe. And this confrontation is underway. Conan. Alvaro. Al Khaibari. Plenty of options. Taliska! And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. So PSG restart the game. Can they come up with the right answer? And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. A very good tackle. Messi. And a relatively straightforward save for the keeper. Sultan Al Ghanam. Ayman Yahya. Oh, a lovely ball, being egged on by the crowd, and diving to thwart him. Well, the crowd know that set pieces could be their best chance. Just listen to that reaction. And he's fired over the corner. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. Verratti. 
Here's Mukiele. Mbappe. And just failing to bend the run enough. And the flag has been raised. Abdul Rahman Hari. Chance to run at them. The delivery. And still dangerous. It will be a Paris Saint Germain free kick. A shocking pass, really. Marco Verratti. Ah, what can they produce on the flank? But the danger averted for now. Ferreira. Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. Oh, a big mistake. Pereira. Nordi Mukiele. And PSG pushing forward with options available. Could cross it in here. That's excellent defending following the cross. Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball. Nice ball over the top to chase. Not troubling the keeper. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. And there to intervene. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. Here's Ronaldo. He's in with a chance. In it goes! Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now.
So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Determined defending. Well, there you have it. The hosts have had so much of the possession and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Well, let's see if they can win the ball back and create something else. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Plenty of support here. Mbappe. Mbappe! And a really good diving stop. Playing it in. Well, not quite the header he had in mind. And the goalkeeper gobbling that one up. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, we're focusing on Cristiano Ronaldo for a reason, Stuart. Fair to say, he's been at his brilliant best. Yeah, what a performance he's putting in here. Great movement, lots of energy and a very good finish for his goal. He's been excellent. Well, the first half struggles for PSG were there for all to see. Can they make a better fist of it this half? Just the challenge that was required. Well, it still could be dangerous. A wonderful intervention. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Can they keep it going? Oh, he needs to clear it here. Kylian Mbappe. No, high quality defending. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Good pressure high up the pitch. Vary. Still a chance. And a goal at the second time of asking. But the keeper has let his team down. Well, when you look at this again, there's two things wrong defensively about this. First of all, the goalkeeper should not be parrying it into a dangerous area, and the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown. It's not good defending all round. So they restart the game, and only one team in it. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Keeper did his job to begin with. Luis Gustavo. And he's gone for power. So close to finding the net.
substitution it is for PSG. Bernat. Verratti. Hugo Ekitike. Now with Messi. Can he finish? Oh, that's a fine save. Playing it short. Firing it towards goal. Well, another corner. Can they take advantage of this one? And played short. In position. Well, here it is again. It's a well-delivered ball into the box. And then the finish from Messi demonstrates his ability to make the right run at the right time. What a good goal. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Alvaro. Kono. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Anderson Talisca. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Fabian determined defending <laughs> Hugo Ekitike tremendous ball played through big opportunity oh dealt with by the goalkeeper well they've won possession back what can they do from here tremendous block Pereira and out of play for a Paris Saint-Germain throw-in and the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG Mbappe and a body in the way just 10 minutes to go and the cross goes in it might still be problematic a really vital interception So almost at full time and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp. The movement's been bright and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front.
might be able to get in behind the defence and the keeper had the measure of it <laughs> corner awarded to PSG could be a chance to break here Defenders need to cover. He's in with a chance. Surely. Ferreira. Messi. An awful lot of green space to run into. Now will the cross work out for them? Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. Can they get one back? Well, it might still work out for them. Danger averted for now. And the referee says it off is it off. That's the end of the game. It's a defeat for PSG. Your assessment? Yes, Derek. They were well off their usual standards today. And with the quality that they have in their squad, I think it's fair for the fans to demand more. Too many bystanders for me, just not good enough. And a high-level contribution from Anderson Talisca. We do say that quite a bit, don't we? Stuart, what impressed you most of all? Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.